Problem 9 is a word problem that requires us to set up a system of equations that we can then solve to answer uh, the, the question, to, to solve the problem. A motel in Naples charges $90 per day for double occupancy if there are two people in the room and $80 for single occupancy. We know that 80 rooms are occupied and the total revenue is $6,930. We'd like to figure out how many rooms of each kind are occupied. So how many double occupancy, how many single occupancy rooms. So we could let x equal the number of double occupancy and we can let y equal the number of single occupancy rooms. And what that means, because we know there are 80 rooms all together, one of the equations we can establish is x plus y equals 80. Because I know that the double occupancy rooms bring in $90, I can multiply that number of rooms times 90, and that brings, you know, that gives us the share of the total that comes from double occupancy rooms. Single occupancy rooms charge $80, and so 80 times y is the amount of revenue that comes from single occupancy rooms, and the total of those two is 6930. So in this case, we could pretty easily solve for y, so we could use uh, the substitution method. So let me, let me do that. So solving the first equation for x or, or y, uh, solving for y would give us y equals negative x plus 80. And now I can substitute that expression in for y in the second uh, expression. So I get 90x plus 80 times negative x plus 80 equals 6930. So we get 90x minus 80x, distributing the 80. 80 times 80, well 8 times 8 is 64. So 80 times 80 is 6,400. And subtracting that from both sides and combining like terms, subtracting 6,400 from both sides, combining the x terms here, I'm left with 10x equals 530. So I know the value of x, dividing both sides by 10, the value of x has to be 53. Since there are 80 total rooms, if I take 80 minus 53, thinking about that first equation, 80 minus 53, uh, means that there are 27 single occupancy rooms. So for a concluding sentence, we can say there are 53 double occupancy rooms and 27 single occupancy rooms. Before writing that, I should have probably checked our work, uh, but let's let's take a moment to think about how we could check our work. So, uh, 53 and 27. I want to make sure you know. Let's double check that adds up to 80, and it does. You know, 3 plus 7 is 10. 5 plus 2 is 7. So adding those together, we get 80. To make sure that the second equation is true uh, for the values that we found, let's use a calculator. To deal with some of this arithmetic, I have 90 times 53, $90 for each double occupancy room, plus 80 times 27, and that should, and it does, equal the 6,930. So we found our solution, and we checked to make sure it works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.